What's up everybody, what's up Imuna Nation? So I wanted to record this video to share about the teachings that I learned with my wife in the book of Rabbi Yehuda Zev Lebovich from Israel. He was a righteous man from Israel um, who was from the previous generation. He, I'm not sure when he passed away but but it really wasn't that long ago and there's many many miracle stories about him that, that I heard from Rav Dror, that, that Rav Dror talked about in his classes. Um, Rav Lebovich used to see Elijah the prophet every single day and it's a known thing in, um, in Judaism that, that, like, that righteous people or people who have special merit or like it's a known thing that they can have a vision of Elijah the prophet and uh, and I heard from Rav Dror that Rav Lebovich saw Elijah the prophet more than any other righteous person that he used to see Elijah the prophet he has to have a vision a spiritual vision or I don't know maybe he just saw him on the streets but he used to see Elijah the prophet uh, once a day and and he said one time that he said I don't see Elijah the prophet Elijah the prophet sees me that he uh, that it wasn't like he had could see Elijah the prophet he said that Elijah the prophet saw him so uh, so he was he was a very very holy um, and pure righteous man with very deep connections and understandings about about God and about reality so uh, so my wife and I learned learned this book and really my wife was translating it to me um, so she can understand it a billion times better than I could what it was saying but uh, but he says that most of the prayers that people pray don't go to uh, don't don't really shake up heaven I think was the way that my wife explained that he said it that people pray but they don't really have a impact to, to wake up Hashem and to, for Hashem to, to take action in the world and that was very scary to read but what I realized I'm what I what I believe he was talking about is like is formalized prayer like prayer from a, a prayer book that people pray like three times a day and they just kind of repeat the words uh, without really putting their heart into it and he was saying that those prayers don't really ascend uh, don't really do anything uh, they don't really ascend to, to heaven, they don't shake up the heavens, but he said that there is a way to shake up the heavens and there's a way to really uh, have the Creator listen to you. And what he said was, quoting the, ver uh, quoting the Psalm 145, when he says that, uh, when I guess David HaMelech says, King David says, um, everybody who calls the Creator, or excuse me, the Creator is close to everyone who calls Him, everyone who calls Him in truth. And so Rav Leibovitch said that, that there's, that's like, a, it's like a double, it's like two different ways to really call the Creator and really have Him listen to you. And the first way is like the verse says, is everyone is close to him who calls him. And Rav Lebovich says, is to everybody who really, like, really just simply really calls him, to everybody who in their in their prayer, and especially in their personal prayer, in whatever prayer they pray, to really have the intention to call the Creator, to really like focus your, I don't know how you want to call your inner power, your intention, your mind, your your being, your like, your you may be even craziness I was thinking to say like to really focus that on calling the Creator and that's how you get get through to him and then the second way that he says was to call him in truth and is to call him honestly is to is to just say your prayers just just to look for for the honest truth and just express it and to him or just express it and and an example that that like that I have in my life how to get to a deeper more honest truth was was to look for the reason why you have a certain desire like say you have a certain desire say it's a good desire or even a bad desire say you have a desire to learn and from from a certain book and you have that desire to learn from a certain book to to look 
and, and to get to a deeper aspect of it is to look to why you have that desire and to check yourself to why you have that desire and then you'll you'll find a deeper desire a more maybe a more honest desire you'll come to more honest understandings but Rav Lebovich says that, that those honest prayers are what also connects you to to the Creator to Hashem and um, these are also words I've heard from Rav Dor many many times and uh, and I believe it works. So, so I wanted to bring those uh, things I was thinking about from from Yudasev Lebovich and his teachings. Okay, Amuna Nation, have a great, wonderful day.